Football management is a completely different beast from playing, as some of the greatest footballers to kick a ball found out after retirement. While the likes of Carlo Ancelotti, Pep Guardiola, and Johan Cruyff broke the mold, many successful players have struggled to become great managers for a myriad of reasons. Here are 10 footballing legends who couldn't transfer their playing success into the dugout. Frank Lampard After reaching the playoff final with Derby, Lampard did well to guide a young Chelsea squad to Champions League qualification in 2020. But concerns over a lack of defensive noose were exacerbated as Chelsea slid towards mid-table the following season. He was sacked in January 2021 with the club in ninth, and Thomas Tuchel leading that same side to Champions League glory reflected poorly on Lampard's managerial acumen. His time at Everton was similarly bittersweet, saving them from relegation in 2022, only to be sacked the following January, with the Toffees looking like certainties for the drop. Lampard returned to Chelsea on an interim basis in April 2023 and won just one of his 11 matches in charge. He's shown little sign of learning from his previous mistakes and has been reduced to meme status. We're sure he'll get another job, but there's little to indicate Lampard will make a success of it. Wayne Rooney Rooney was sacked by championship outfit Birmingham City in January 2024 after a horrendous run of form. The loss consigned the club to 20th position in the championship table, having been sixth when the former England striker took charge in October. In all, Rooney won just two of his 15 matches in the Midlands, and he failed to win over supporters with his ill-suited tactics and uninspiring press conferences. After spells at Derby County and DC, United failed to scale the heights. The trajectory of Rooney's managerial career feels irreversibly downwards. Diego Maradona Widely considered one of the greatest players of all time, Maradona failed to inspire the brilliance he so often produced as a player during his two years in charge of the Argentina national team. With Maradona in charge, the South American Giants narrowly qualified for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa, where they suffered a 4-0 thrashing at the hands of Germany in the quarterfinals. Many fans in Argentina criticized his decision to leave Esteban Cambiaso and Javier Zanetti, fresh from winning the treble with Inter Milan, out of the squad. His contract with the Argentine Football Association was not renewed after the World Cup. Fourteen months later, he took charge of United Arab Emirates side Al Wazel, guiding the team to an eighth-place finish in his one season. Gary Neville one of Britain's leading football pundits, Neville's managerial role was a case study in abjectness. The former Manchester United and England defender was appointed by Valencia in December 2015, despite not speaking Spanish or possessing any experience as a manager. He failed to win any of his first nine La Liga games before suffering a humiliating 7-0 defeat to Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. It goes along with the idea that Gary was too nice of a guy to be a coach in Valencia. He was too close to the players because I think deep down, he still felt like one of them. Five straight defeats in La Liga sealed his fate. Neville hasn't dared return to the dugout since, choosing to stay with Sky Sports instead. Andrea Pirlo The epitome of cool during his playing days, Pirlo has struggled to transmit such authority from the touchline. His one season in charge of Juventus saw the side fail to win Serie A for the first time in nine years, finishing fourth in 2020-2021. Winning the Coppa Italia has hardly likely to save him from the chop, especially after flopping in the Champions League. Pirlo's next role was in Turkey with Fatih Karagumruk, and he only lasted a single season there too. Reports that he allowed his players to smoke at halftime hardly painted the World Cup winner as a disciplinarian to fear. The former midfielder is now in Serie B with Sampdoria, who have won one of their nine matches to date. Steven Gerrard Once tipped to replace Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool, Gerrard flopped at Aston Villa and was made to look silly by Unai Emery replacing him and elevating an underachieving squad into the upper echelons of the Premier League. 
Now in Saudi Arabia with Al Etifak, the former England captain has Jordan Henderson, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Demaray Gray, and former Lions striker Musa Dembele at his disposal, but one league win since mid-September. His early success at Rangers feels increasingly down to Michael Beale's influence. Sir Bobby Charlton Arguably England's greatest ever player, the late Charlton's managerial career was brief and unsuccessful. The 1966 World Cup winner and scorer of 49 international goals took over as manager of Preston North End in 1973, but he oversaw the club's relegation from the second division that season. He resumed playing but left the following year, making three appearances for Waterford United in 1976. After a brief role as caretaker manager at Wigan Athletic, Charlton joined the Manchester United board in 1984, where he remained until the late 2010s. Alan Shearer Shearer was trusted with the unenviable task of saving Newcastle from Premier League relegation when he took over with eight games remaining of the 2008-2009 season. He failed to do so, winning only once as the Magpies dropped out of the top division for the first time since 1993. The Premier League's all-time leading goalscorer hasn't returned to management since, instead forging a reputation for speaking terse generalities while dressed as a security guard on match day. Tony Adams As spectacular as his playing career was, Barnes's managerial career was definitely a disaster. He joined Celtic alongside fellow Liverpool legend Kenny Dalglish in 1999, but his stint at Parkhead was a wholehearted failure, as it took only a few games and poor results for the Celtic fans to go seek his dismissal. The axe eventually fell after an infamous Scottish Cup defeat to Inverness, inspiring the peerless headline, Super Cali Go Ballistic, Celtic are atrocious. Spells with Tranmere and the Jamaica national team weren't much better. Stick to rapping, Barnsey. The transition from legendary player to successful manager isn't always a seamless one. The stories of these football legends who struggled in managerial roles serve as cautionary tales, reminding us that greatness on the pitch doesn't always guarantee success in the dugout. From tactical missteps to interpersonal challenges, their journeys shed light on the complexities of coaching at the highest level. Yet, despite their managerial struggles, their legacies as players remain untouched serving as a powerful reminder that even the greatest of talents can face unexpected hurdles on the path to coaching glory. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.